All systems go. Uh oh, little technical difficulties. Getting ready to go to Jackson Hole. None of us could sleep last night because we were so excited to go snowboarding today. Felt like kid on Christmas morning. Let's go! Blake's got his GoPro. That doesn't work. It's not working right at the moment, but we're gonna work on it. Check out this little pocket right here. What is that? For like phone and GoPro and stuff. Oh, that's clutch. And I have a nice pole, but I just wish I could use this pole. Look at how sweet this fog looks that we're about to go into. Thank it's you. just at the bottom of this mountain. Dude. Straight ahead. It's like Damn, look at that lift. The tram? Yeah. So the first lift that we're gonna go on when we get to Jackson Hole is the longest lift that they have there. It takes you all the way to the peak of the mountain. It's about a 10 minute ride. And the tram car that we're going to be riding in holds about 100 people. Nicknamed Big Red. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. In half a mile, turn left onto Tiran Village Road. Is Michael looking for a piece for Drew for his GoPro? I think. Uh, which one do you want? Yeah, one of. Like that? Yeah. What? Just like so. And then it's on there. Good, you promise? Mm -hmm. Shake it around a bit. Like, give it a good test. Really hit it. Shit. Whoops. <laughs> that is not supposed to happen. The adhesive sticky pad's supposed to like keep it from, like if you were to crash, it's supposed to stay on. Let me feel the bottom of it. Put it back on there. Did you push it down hard? No, not really. Well, maybe that's why. You really gotta like force it on. We parked in just about the best spot that you could get. The main entrance to the mountains right here. <coughs> Did you get the GoPro worked out? All set. Get Blake a helmet and get on the mountain. Hey, do you have a place your backpack and put these keys? Yeah. Wait, get that on camera, yeah. Get Blake getting into your backpack. Hey, like you can never have too much footage. I can cut anything I want out. All right. Let's go. Gondola, baby. I feel like a sardine right now, packed into a <laughs> container. Look at this cliff. <laughs> Dude, like, what if you just, like, kind of went into the woods a bit and didn't see that? Dropped off. Let's not do let's not, let's not do words until we know where we're going. Dude, this is amazing. Quiet during the announcement. Thank you. If you guys need ski patrol, it's located right over here at Corbett's cabin along with restrooms, food, and beverage. Please obey closed area signs. They are there for your safety. And if you are considering exiting the, exiting the resort uh, into the backcountry, please have the proper equipment, knowledge, partner, and a plan. If you don't know, don't go. Or hire one of our guides. Thanks for your attention. This was a bit of bad. No way, this is awesome. She was like, what the fuck? She was like, I totally regret this. I don't know where to go. Holy crap. Do you guys notice a difference, like, in the breathing? Yeah. 
<laughs> it is a bit harder to breathe. They weren't lying. We're above the tree line, so no vegetation grows, as you can see. There's not enough oxygen. All right, I think I'm gonna put this camera away now. Switching to the GoPro.
Well, boys, what do you think of the first okay. day? All right, I will talk to you. Successful? Before. Not successful? Okay. okay. Bye, babe. Get some good. No, don't let him. Okay, two thumbs up. That's what I was looking for. Today was amazing. We're gonna go get some pizza from Pinky. Pinky G's. Pinky G's. <laughs> Apparently, this restaurant was on diners, diving, and drives. Is that right? Hosted by. Hosted by. Guy. Guy. Fiery. Fiery. He really he does that show. Yeah. I didn't know that. I've never watched the show, but yeah. Guy Fire, you probably have heard of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fieri, whatever. He's a chef, which makes sense that his name's like Fiery and he's cooking stuff all the time. Well, I don't think that's why he's a chef. Are you sure? I don't think he is. Is that his real name or did he change his name? I think that's his name and he just happens to be a chef with a fiery last name. <laughs>